the tiny antiquated slipway in North Cornwall's Boscastle Harbour might not look much, but it's the key to the door of some fantastic predator fishing. This miniature harbour offers shelter to a cluster of small private and commercial fishing boats. They return with crab, lobster and fresh fish whenever they get the chance to go to sea. The Atlantic Ocean sweeps right into the harbour, giving amazing clarity. On a good weather day, it's an ideal spot for small boats and kayakers to launch. On a bad day, it's the harbour from hell. The harbour entrance is hidden away in the granite coastline, but viewed from the sea, you'd never even know it's there. Once outside, you can race out to the most famous stretch of rocky coastline for big sharks. I should know, as our 17 foot boat high sea drifter has just caught and tagged the biggest shark in British waters. That one weighed over 500 pounds. But we were after a smaller species of predator, the taupe, and to reach the best fishing spot and a 15 mile run to the secret mark called Ripper Reef. And that's right opposite the radar dishes. Here we are, we're at Ripper Reef, and that in the background is the dishes. We've had one small tope already, and we hope we've got another fish on the go here. Possibly, I see what, he's changing a lot, he's yeah. covering ground. I've got another line down, I'm going to put the camera off, we'll get the other line up. Well, he's turning now, it's oh. right. That's a good, oh, that's a real good tope, but that could be. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big head shake then. Here, yeah, so. I think that might be a poor beagle. I don't know, or big coat. So we all like to hear. It's going well. It's going well. I say it's tote, 20, 30, 50 pound tote. Do you see, any, see anything? Tope, yeah. It's tope, yeah. Decent tope, nice one. That's a nice one. You might zoom off again. Yeah, We'll just get him on this one for now. There he is. He's still pretty Chat, active. Watch the bag, put him around from the bag. Yeah. Oh, he's just your hook. Woo! Just your hook. That's all. What a fish. And that's the second one, but it's bigger than the last one we had. How long do you reckon we've been here? I'll say we've been here. Well, hang on, hang on, we got, there we go. Take. Second take. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, oh. This one's come off. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one. Quite oh, that's a good one. fish. Good fish. That's, that's another 20 pounder. Yeah. That's our fourth, I think, today. Yeah. Been here probably an hour, hour, just over an hour. Oh, that's a feisty one. 
What happened to that last one? I don't know, I think he's come off. That's that fresh chum bag. I put out another chum bag. Yeah, chum seems to be doing the work. No question, well. It's a nice fish, I'm just going to come in here. Yeah, just go for it. Let's swing this one. Stare at it. There we go. Woo! There's one like that. Woo, mama. Woo, mama. <laughs> Here you go. Show's yours. And it's there, boy, boy. That's over to about 25 pounds, that one. And he is not happy. That is a not happy bunny. I think I've got a good mind to tag that one, to be honest. Yeah. Straight back as you go, that's yeah. 25 pounds that one. Oh, he nearly took the one. wedding gear. Good fish. Get some more. That's a totally awesome taupe. Another one. Cover it. It won't take much recovering that, will he be thrashing? Well, there he goes. Good man. That's Help. handshake time. Truly dedicated small boat fisherman ventures onto this stretch of coastline. And with us on the day was Peter Scott and his small 14 foot boat, Lucky Strike 4. He's fished this area for over 30 years and he still keeps coming back. Is that because the fishing is still untapped? Well, you better judge for yourself. <laughs> right guys, we're on to number seven here. Uh, quick little take actually. Didn't really hang around much. Um, just got him here on the trace, if I just grab a trace. Well, strimmer line actually. Not really a trace. Baby one, but number seven. No, he's not that much of a baby. Love him. Anglers like to catch him, he's nicely hooked in the scissors. Yep. Wow, well, good jump. Hold tight. <laughs> and he's stripping ripper. it. And this mark we call Ripper Reef. That says For this reason, because we get good tote fishing here, that rip the line out, and occasionally we do get the odd Paul Beagle shark. And our friend Pete up on Lucky Strike 4 has actually seen a Paul Beagle shark, but he hasn't got the chum slip we've got going here. Let's try it again. We'll have another go at this. Watch your egg bag. Bobby bag. Yeah. That is wrapped. It will untangle. That could be a male fish. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> that is one crazy fish. Let him get out of the system. He's hooked well too. Yeah. That could be a male fish. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that is a chum. That is one crazy fish. I don't think I've seen him do that before. Oh, now you're stuffed. Get the, get the wire below it. Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's it. Oh, he's wrapped. Uh, there you go. He's going crazy. Some feathers. Yeah, now that's a male fish. That's why he's going crazy. He's a bit stronger.
what you call guys, totally awesome tote fishing. We've got a double of, of nice fish here and there's another one on the third one over there. Oh. Oh, Good. Just hooked. And one of these I followed up, the followed out was a really big fish, looked about 35, 40 pounds. Let's see if we can get this. Did you bite me? Right. Right, let's get one of these out. That one's out. I'm going to put this one straight And we've got Pete over here. And Pete's fine. He's come up in our chum slick. He's just got a tape and released. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to try and get this one. Ah, oh, it keeps down. Uh, there you go. That is a nice tope. I'm exhausted. We still got another one in here and another one hooked up. Listen guys, we go fishing. Don't ever put any chum in the water because you get a pack attack. So what number are we on now? We're on the 10th uh, one now. We had a bit of a dry patch really for about an hour and a half. Um, I think we drifted past the mark. We've got the dishes just there uh, to my right. Good hour and a half without anything. Fresh um, chum though. Right? Yeah, we've got fresh some jam. fresh chum out. And then we've moved uh, yeah, back, bad, though, back over fish. to the spot. And we've got, um, we've got another one now. Hopefully it'll all start to pick up. We're just on the turn of the tide now. Um, and Pete had gone quiet in the other boat as well. Yeah. So, let's have this. That's clapping well, actually, that one. Yeah. This was just off the bottom, uh, this rod. They've taken a few shark lines today, but um, quite a few of them have actually been just off the bottom, a couple of feet off the bottom. And they've still got loads of energy. Turns. We've been here about a couple hours now at least. Uh, oh, I think we've got a decent pollock on here. Um, we haven't had a bite for a good hour, hour, 10, hour, 20 minutes when the tide went slack. The wind's gone up now too. Telescopic um, we've got a little telescopic well. rod here. It's uh, Poise Toys. Yeah. About five pounds from oh. uh, my local uh, charity shop. And uh, it's actually a great, great little outfit. Um, That's not a bad pollock. Is, yeah. There we go, it's coming up now. Oh, he's still got some energy. Oh, it's a scrapper. Take your time, yeah. That's a nice fish. So. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, that's it. Yeah, it's not like it's 
what the hell is this? Now I'll tell you what, I haven't had fish like this for a long time. Here, that's big. Good fish. Good fish. We'll come up a long way back in the water. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a leader, see the leader. Keep him to the right of it. Right, check out this totally awesome conga. Just as we're about to pack up and move, really windy now, winds picked up, uh, tides changed, boats swinging all over the place, lines tangling, getting a few pouting, small pouting, nibbling the bait, so we thought we'd go closer in shore up there. And then this bugger got hold of the bait. Big old fat belly on it. 20 pounds, probably half a mackerel in there. He's got to be eating the pouting. Yeah, it's 20 pounds at least. 